What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting, very windy episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. But we're out in the garden today. It's a beautiful day. So hopefully you guys are having an awesome one wherever you're at. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about probably one of the most popular questions you all ask about how to grow peppers. And that is, should I be topping my pepper plants? And what is topping my pepper plants? So we're gonna be talking about how to top them, what is topping them, and is there any benefit to topping your pepper plants in today's episode? Let's go. So when it comes to growing peppers, a lot of people encounter this where their plant starts to grow and all along the stem, they have side shoots. Now those side shoots are known as suckers. Now suckers on something like a tomato, we typically will prune off. You see on a tomato plant, you have here the main stem and then all along the main stem, you have a leaf node and in between the leaf node, some gardeners call it the armpit of the tomato, but basically in between the leaf node, you have a little itty bitty plant. Now, if that is left to grow, it will produce flowers and fruit all of its own. However, as gardeners, we often talk about how when you're growing a, to a uh, tomato, it's very important to prune those off so that the tomato can focus more energy on growing upward, having better air circulation, it'll be a little more disease resistant, and it's gonna focus on ripening those fruit that it's forming rather than continuing to grow, continuing to flower, in a short season like here in Michigan. We wanna make sure that we get lots of fruit early, get those fruit to ripen so we can get them off the plant. So that's why a lot of times we're gonna be pruning our tomato plants. Also, it makes them a lot easier to stake because they get so tall. But with peppers, you don't have to worry about a lot of those things and that's why topping your pepper plants can be a benefit. All right, so like I said, when growing tomato plants, it's really important to preserve that main growth stem all the while pruning the suckers that form on the stem so that it doesn't get super bushy and overgrown. It actually encourages the plant to grow upright and get off the ground. However, with pepper plants, what we wanna do is if you're able to, you wanna do a process called topping. Now, topping is the act of actually cutting that main growth stem so that it forces more side growth because a plant can do one of two things. A plant can either continue to grow up through its main growth stem or it can form side shoots. The only time it will really prioritize side shoots is if you tell it that there's a dead end. Now that's because energy is coming from the leaves down to the roots, but then the roots will send the energy back up to the stem. And that stem will typically send a signal to say, all right, I am growing in an upward, uh, in an upward pattern, right? It's growing up. However, when that energy grows up and it hits a dead end, it will say, I can't go any, any further, but I wanna still continue to grow up. It's actually the plant's natural mechanism to continue to grow up towards the sun. And so what it will do is it will prioritize side shoots. And that's where you're gonna get a very bushy, stocky plant. And that's great for growing peppers because peppers will typically only produce about two to three flushes of fruit. A flush is basically a, uh, a series of fruit that forms on the plant. Now, uh, because it only forms about two or three flushes of fruit, uh, topping your pepper plants is not always something that you wanna do which I'll talk about. But if you live in a longer growing season, a season that will allow four to five or even more flushes of fruit, topping your pepper plants, while it will set the plant back a little bit, will provide tons more fruit in the long run because you're gonna have so many more fruiting joints that are actually gonna be uh, growing on this plant rather than one main one. So like I said, in a longer growing season, topping your pepper plants can be a huge benefit to giving you more fruit in the long run. But what about those that live in a shorter growing season, like us here in Michigan or further north even like Minnesota or in the North and South Dakotas? What do you do in that case? Well, in that case, it's best not to top your pepper plants. Or what you can do is you can start your pepper plants a lot earlier. By starting your plants indoors, it'll basically simulate you starting them in a much warmer climate because obviously the growing season because you started them indoors in say early February, will be a whole lot longer for them to be growing. So you're going to actually have a far more mature and healthy plant despite your growing season being shorter. But assuming you just basically start your plants at a normal time when most of us start our plants and you move them outside and you only have a growing season that is about 90 to 110 days, that growing season is not long enough to justify topping your pepper plants. And the reason why is because when you top your pepper plants, they're basically going to stop growing for almost two weeks. And that's the process of the plant essentially scabbing over what you prune and then sending energy back down to the roots so that there can actually be that stimulus of, whoa, there's a dead end, we can't go anywhere, and we're gonna form some side shoots. 
Then it takes those side shoots another probably two to three weeks to actually start forming and growing. It takes them some time to actually start growing fast because rather than grow one plant, you know when you start your, your peppers from seed, how long they take to get growing? The same thing happens when you top them only even longer because rather than grow one plant, you're technically growing two to even four plants at the same exact time with only one root system. So it takes a lot longer to kind of build up the plant and get it up to size. So it can set the pepper plant back four to six weeks before you're even at the same level of not topping them at all. And that's why here in Michigan, there's not really a huge benefit to topping. So there is a time in which no matter if you live down south where you have a longer growing season or if you live up north with a shorter growing season that you wouldn't want to top your pepper plants. And that's based on the variety that you're growing. Typically smaller, more landrace or wild strains of peppers, that's what landrace means, are going to be more bushy by nature. If you're growing something that's more domesticated and larger fruiting, like say a bell pepper, or in our case here, this uh, New Max Joe, uh, the New Max Joe Parker pepper, they are really, really large peppers, very blocky, and typically the plants will only produce maybe three to five fruits, but the plant gets really large. And that's because the plant puts a ton of energy into growing and then puts a ton of energy into fruiting. And so with a shorter growing season, you know, hey, I'll take three to five peppers per plant. That's a great yield for a big, large pepper like that. But in a longer growing season, if you could top them, you're actually gonna be able to produce a really bushy plant that is gonna produce 10, 15, or even more peppers on a single plant. So there's a huge benefit to topping those larger fruiting and uh, you know more kind of taller domesticated pepper plants. However, like I said, with your land race or wild strains of peppers, like this Tabasco or the Chiltepin, or even the, you know, the Bequinho pepper, the uh, Bequinho Bequinho uh, pepper, they are very bushy by nature. And so you don't even really need to top them because all that's going to do is gonna set them back, slow the plant down, and it's not gonna get any further ahead. And that's kind of the same as say growing like a determinate tomato, right? A determinate tomato just gets by nature very bushy, whereas like an indeterminate tomato gets really long and lanky. And so uh, it's super important that you understand what you're growing and the, and the reason why you're, you're doing what you're doing to the plants because some plants genetically are just going to produce a bushier plant, so pruning them is only gonna slow them down. And so again, those are your smaller, typically, I hate to say it, but typically your spicier peppers as well. Um, your spicier peppers, smaller peppers, more wild strains of peppers, uh, those are ones that you really don't need to, to really top at all, and they're gonna have no benefit very much from, from being topped. So the next thing I wanna talk about is you know how to top them and kind of how to tell what to look for when you're topping your plants. All right, so now I'm gonna sacrifice this plant here. I'm gonna take one for the team. So make sure you like this video because this plant is gonna to get topped. Despite the fact that I say I don't top my plants in, in Michigan, I'm gonna to top this one because I think a lot of you that, that are growing in other areas of the country or even the world can benefit from topping your plants. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the main growth stem up. Now, this plant's pretty mature. And now, obviously the sooner you can top your plants, the better they're going to be because of the fact that it's not gonna set them back as much. This plant is about a month old in our garden here. It's grown quite a bit. It's pretty established. Now, if your plant looks very similar to this, don't worry, there can still be a huge benefit from topping your plants. But all we're gonna do is we're simply gonna go from the soil level and we're gonna follow that main growth stem all the way up. And what you'll notice is much like I pointed out in tomatoes, those leaf nodes, ant crawling on me, those leaf nodes will actually uh, have a little plant growing in between. And that little tuft of growth is the sucker that we wanna actually prioritize. That's the future pepper plant that we want to grow. And so in between the leaves, you have a little sucker. Following it up, there's the main growth stem, a leaf, and a little sucker. The main growth stem, there's a leaf. There's no sucker yet because it's still pretty new growth. It really hasn't even begun to prioritize a sucker in that leaf joint yet because of the fact it's so young, but we're gonna to continue to follow it up. And up at the top, you'll notice there is a little kind of cluster of new leaves. Um, those new leaves, there's typically two or three sets of new leaves that have not even begun to open up yet. And that's what we wanna prune off. So we're gonna come up here and you see there's one that's just starting to open, and then there's two right there. And there's even a few more right up top there, but we're gonna take that whole cluster, anything that is not fully opened yet, we're gonna take that and we're gonna pinch it right off. 
And now what we've done is we've, we've essentially topped our pepper plant. This is going to scab over right here. And then all of this new growth is going to be what's going to be uh, prioritized. All of that new, uh, the new growth will then start to grow out. It's gonna bush out this way. It's gonna bush out this way. It's gonna be a much lower to the ground plant. It's gonna have a much lower center of gravity. It's gonna be a lot bushier as it starts to grow. And then once the flowers form, rather than you know the plant producing three to four fruits, five fruits at most, we're gonna have something like 10 to 15 fruits, which is actually gonna be a huge benefit to us um, from topping our plants. But again, if you live in a shorter growing season, like here in Michigan, this, this stage right here, this is something you can only do if you start your pepper plants super early indoors, like early February, because that way it's gonna give you a long enough time to get these plants up and growing so that when it does set them back for that four to six weeks, they're gonna be prepared for it. Um, but anywhere else, you're gonna have a huge benefit from topping your pepper plants, and I really hope that you'll try this. Um, this is something that, again, is not something you have to do either. A lot of people say, do I have to top my pepper plants? No, you don't have to. That's not, that's not something you have to do. They're still gonna produce fruit, but there is a benefit uh, from doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure to throw a like up there. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are producing so much gardening content and we're so dedicated to helping you grow a better garden that I want you guys to be along for the ride. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, comment uh, down below if you've topped your pepper plants, if you still top your pepper plants and the experience you've had when topping your pepper plants and uh, or something you learned in this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow bigger. Take care.